Bowl of Stars and Memphis and the Rockefeller Project. Yes. Can you tell us a bit about the Rockefeller Project? The Rockefeller Project is now called True Crime, and it's a play that I've written um, over the last three and a half years. And it's, it, is a, it is a true crime story about a real guy whose real name is Christian Carl Gerhard Schreider. And he is in prison right now for murder and other things. And I found out about him, I was watching TV like 20 years ago. I was obsessed with this show, Unsolved Mysteries. You remember that I show, sure with Robert Stack? I love that show. And he, he, he at that time was wanted in, they did a feature on him because he was wanted in questioning for the disappearance of two people in California. But at that time, his name was Christopher Chichester. And then cut to 15 years later, and the, you know I was watching the news one day, and there was this big fuss being made because a Rockefeller had, in a messy divorce, kidnapped his child. And there was an Amber Alert out, and because he was a Rockefeller, all the news networks covered it. And they showed his face, and I was like, oh my god, that's that guy. Yeah. And I started getting really fascinated with him, and he had been impersonating a Rockefeller for 14 years and risen to unbelievable heights, was married to a woman who was making three million bucks a year and lived in a mansion on Beacon Hill and had everybody completely believing. Yeah, wasn't he the president of, of one of those like uh, societies? Yeah, he was the, like the, uh, the president of lots of fancy clubs yeah. in Boston and, and he was a German yeah. um, who had learned how to speak English by impersonating Thurston Howell III on Gilligan's Island. Yeah. And he was, he, he, he's just a fascinating, very sad and very dark character. But what he was trying to be was in some way me. My family come from Boston and our kind of old um, Boston family. And, and I, I recognized that he looked like me and that we sort of had the same uh, style sense. And I thought, gee, what would it be like if this guy who was sort of trying to pretend to be someone like me, what if I tried to pretend to be someone like him? And I became interested in this mirror. And now you're learning lots of weird stuff about and now, yourself. Yeah, and now for sure. Yeah. I mean, so then, then, then the play, um, I got Chris Abraham involved who runs a theater company called Crow's Theater in Toronto. And he's a brilliant guy. And he got involved and he started to say, well, you know, this guy's interesting, but why are you interested in this guy? Yeah. And so then the play became much more about what it is about me that makes me so obsessed with crime yeah. and with um, these strange characters that, uh, you know, live on the, on the peripheries of our, of our world and do things that the rest of us might have contemplated doing but would never dream of actually doing. It, it seems to me like he might not have crossed that line into murderer or kidnapper had it not serviced his long con. Absolutely. Like, I don't think he was out to be a killer, but it was just... Agreed. He was ardent about his con. Agreed, agreed. So. It, was, it was, I think, necessity right. to keep the lie going and to keep his sense of... To keep the lie going, he would do anything. Yeah. Because, ultimately, he was someone so terrified of being himself that he would do anything to prevent people from discovering that real self.